Where does the long dark take place? It's a question that many long dark players have probably thought about at some point, and today we're going to try our best to figure that same question out. The one thing I have to say right off the bat here is that this is obviously just a comparison done for fun, and this is my opinion based on statistics of geography, weather, and a combination of the two, as well as other long dark factors to really try and find a place that best resembles the in-game terrain and atmosphere. Now, as we all know, the Long Dark is a game that takes place in a year-round post-apocalyptic setting. So obviously, in terms of winter weather, no place is going to have blizzards that last for two days and it's negative 40 degrees the entire year. Unless it's, you know, Antarctica, but um, we're probably talking about the Arctic here. So unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, that really does not happen where we're going to be looking. So just with that out of the way, let's get started by looking at the very obvious here. So we know right off the bat that the Long Dark takes place in Canada. I'm sure this is a well-known fact to many of you, as the developer and development team has said specifically it takes place in the country. If you want more proof, just play the game. Um, there are many Canadian flags scattered around the world map. So this is a good start. We've really narrowed down the entire, I guess, world, you could say, down to one specific country. Granted, kind of obvious. However, there's a few more things to factor in that can really narrow down this search even more and perhaps pinpoint a place in Canada that can match the game in terms of the geography and the weather. In the game, the world map is referred to as Great Bear Island. So from this, we obviously know that we are likely going to be searching for an island here. Now, lucky for us, Canada borders three oceans, the Atlantic Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. So whatever place closely resembles the Long Dark is likely going to be in one of these regions. Now, just a little side note here, I actually do find it pretty cool how there's a lake in Canada actually called Great Bear Lake, which is actually the eighth largest lake in the world. In pictures, the lake and surrounding region look super pretty, but I'm not really quite sure what the lake name has anything to do with Great Bear. Maybe it's a concept in the game taken from Great Bear Lake, um, but regardless, I kind of find it cool. All right, so we have three regions in Canada so far that really have the greatest chance of having an area that closely resembles the Long Dark. Let's start at the northernmost region, the Canadian Arctic Archipelago. This is a massive group of islands in the territory of Nunavut and the Northwest Territories in far northern Canada. And at a first glance, this really does seem like a possible location for the long dark. Being so far north, air temperatures in this region can drop as low as negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 46 Celsius with frequent blizzards and blowing snow conditions. However, there's really one major problem when comparing this area to the long dark. If you've played the long dark for literally just a few seconds, you know how many trees litter the landscape in the game. Problem is, the Canadian archipelago lies above the Arctic tree line. This is a line that lies at the northernmost extent of the boreal forest and is the northernmost latitude in which trees can grow. Any farther north than this line and it's really just too cold year round to sustain any trees. You can even see the difference on satellite imagery, where the lower latitudes have more green, while these northernmost latitudes have a brownish hue to it. So because of that, this pretty much takes the Canadian archipelago off the list of possible areas that match the long dark, since really no trees are able to grow on these islands. Next up, and farther south, we have the Atlantic side of eastern Canada. At first glance, you can definitely notice that there's fewer islands here than in the northern part of the country. But regardless, we still have two rather large islands, Anacostia Island and the island of Newfoundland. Both of these islands are decent fits for being the Long Dark's closest match. These islands are heavily wooded compared to the islands of the archipelago farther north. Temperatures in winter can get as low as negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 29 Celsius and can sometimes be accompanied by intense, long-duration blizzards. If you've ever played the Long Dark for a while, there's a chance you've encountered a blizzard that lasts a majority, if not all day long. These long-duration storms can happen in Atlantic Canada, especially in the island of Newfoundland. In winter, intense coastal low-pressure systems, often called nor'easters in the U.S., can develop over the Gulf Stream off the eastern United States. As these storms move northward, they feed off the warm ocean waters of the Gulf Stream. This temperature difference between the warm air over the Gulf Stream and the cold Arctic air over land can cause the storm to absolutely explode in intensity. Atlantic Canada, and where I'm from in the U.S., New England, often receive the brunt of these coastal monsters. In terms of weather and geography, parts of Atlantic Canada definitely fit the bill for possible locations of the Long Dark. However, there's one feature in the game that will point us in a different direction other than Atlantic Canada. In the Long Dark, if you've ever been fishing in the regions of Coastal Highway or Bleak Inlet, 
And there's a chance you may have caught in this fish before, a coho salmon. Coho salmon are native to northern Pacific areas, usually from Japan and eastern Russia over to Alaska and down the western portions of Canada and mainland U.S. In the long dark, a description for this fish even reads a formidable west coast fish. Because of this, our attention now turns to the west coast of Canada as we can safely take Atlantic Canada off the list of possible areas. After comparing two other regions in Canada, we're down to the Canadian west coast in British Columbia. In this area, there are two main islands that really stand out, Vancouver Island and Graham and Moresby Island. Let's start with Graham Island. This island has a ton of trees, and of the photos that are out there, is very reminiscent of the landscape found in the long dark. Many hills, valleys, lakes, surrounded by woods. One issue with this, however, is comparing this island to Great Bear Island in the long dark is the lack of cold that is present. Looking at the temperature records reveal that this island is heavily influenced by the ocean. This means temperatures here are generally warmer than areas in mainland Canada thanks to the relatively warm ocean water. And it really shows, with temperatures rarely dipping below 0 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 Celsius. Don't get me wrong, these temperatures are still pretty cold, but not as cold as other regions we've reviewed. Next up and further south, we have Vancouver Island. Now this is actually the island where the developer of the Long Dark, Raphael van Leerup, took inspiration in making the Long Dark. Looking at the island in terms of comparing it to Great Bear Island in the game, the island still doesn't get extremely cold as the ocean influences the temperature, but it gets colder than Graham Island, with temperatures dipping down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 23 Celsius in the wintertime. Now, in my opinion, the landscape here really does resemble the Long Dark better than any other region we have looked at. The rolling hills with countless trees, rocky beaches, and numerous lakes with little islands scattered about really screams the Long Dark to me. And of course, it all makes sense since Vancouver Island gave inspiration for the Long Dark. So there we have it. The place that I think really does resemble the Long Dark closest is Vancouver Island in the province of British Columbia in Canada. Now, maybe a few of you actually did see this coming and already knew the game was inspired by this area. But the truth is, at least in terms of weather, there's really no island in Canada that can match the ferociousness of the long dark weather. 60 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 51 Celsius can't really be achieved by an island in Canada for an extended period of time due to that ocean that we talked about earlier. So, if the Long Dark was really a place on this planet, it would likely have to be an island in Canada during an ice age or a quiet apocalypse. If you made it this far, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.